All right, I'm just going to go through this tune measure by measure using the tablature as a reference. And I'll give you a few notes along the way. Measure one should look and sound like this. Again. So that's just a couple straight melody notes played with the finger. I call those boom notes. And then a basic strum. Boom, chicka. Boom, 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 chicka. Let's take a look at measure two. We have uh, some hammer on. We have a hammer on and a drop thumb in the first half of the measure. And the second half, we have a pull off. And again, when we start from that pull off, we're doing a basic strum. Boom, chicka. Boom, chicka. The boom note there is being split by the pull off, but otherwise, our right hand's doing that basic, uh, basic strum motion that you should be used to. Uh, so the second measure, one more time. Third measure on this first line, our melody note's up here on the fifth fret on the fourth string. And in order to incorporate that into some strumming, uh, basic strum motions, uh, I'm going to add a little harmony note behind here, the second fret on the third string. Uh, I know it's a little difficult to see when I'm actually playing because I have these ancillary fingers kind of hanging in the way. But these are the two, two fingers that are doing the work here. And so the second fret up here, again, is just to catch some harmony notes after we play the melody note on the fifth, fifth fret. And we want to add that little strum in. That's just a nice little harmony note. Then we move to the fourth fret on the fourth string. And our right hand does the same thing. So again, at this point, I just have the fourth fret fretted. Uh, let's play that third measure for you in its entirety. Fourth measure. Uh, this is a little fun here. We do some pull off, a pull off followed by a hammer on, followed by a pull off. Um, so if you look at the last half of this fourth measure, it's exactly the same as the last half of the second measure. So remember that uh, the last half is just a basic strum with a pull off on that boom note. Boom, check. All right. So let me play you that fourth measure in its entirety. So you should, you could hear the whole first line of the tab. It'll sound like this. Let's look at the second line, the second half of the A part. The first two measures, uh, or the first three measures rather, are exactly the same as the first line. So I'm just going to play those three measures for you. Just remind you where we are. And then the final measure of the second line, the final measure of the A part, starts out the same as, as the uh, fourth measure of the tune, but we resolve it to a basic strum at the end. So here's the fourth and final measure of the first part of the tune. So let me give you the second line in its entirety.
All right, let's look at the B part. We'll start on the first measure of the third line of the tab. So again here we just have a couple hammer-on notes. Followed by a basic strum, boom, chicka. And notice we throw our first finger down on the second fret of the first string for to accommodate that strum there because we are playing over the the uh, home chord there which is a D chord or we're playing out of C shape so you can think of that as a C chord um, so again let me play that first measure for you second measure of the third line ideas there. I think you get the picture. Uh, let's look at the third measure of this line. Here I'm sliding in to the second fret of the second string. I'm also letting the first string ring open. So uh, They're the same note, but when you let that open string ring against the note that we're sliding into, it creates a nice banjo-y effect. Um, otherwise, these are all just what I call boom notes. We're just using our finger. We're not dropping the thumb in here for anything on this whole measure. That takes us to the fourth measure of this line. And this is where we get a little fancy. We have some uh, more melodic run here. And we're going to start with a pull off and a drop thumb. And a pull off and a hammer on. Let me do that a little more cleanly for you. Now that takes us into the final line of the tab and you're going to see some familiar ideas here similar to what we were doing in the previous parts. Um, here is the first measure of the fourth line. Really basic, just two basic strums on the fifth and then the fourth fret of the third string. In the tab, it's written as individual notes. We're hitting just on the third string. Uh, you might notice in the performance that I do in the intro to this video, uh, you might see me adding that harmony note up here again on the second fret on the adjacent string to that fifth fret note. You might see that happen. Just to allow me to strum a little more. But you can do it exactly as it is in the tab, or you can experiment with adding some of these shapes uh, in around the melody note. Okay, so let's move on to the second measure of this final line. Nothing too new there. So let's look at the final two measures. These are exactly the same as the final two measures of the second line. So that'll look and sound like this. part. 
having any question or confusion regarding these instructional videos, just spend, uh, make sure you go back and re-watch them and spend some time with the tablature, spend some time practicing the material. And then if you're still having struggles, send me an email at ryan at playbetterbanjo.com. I'm always up for having a conversation about banjos or uh, just helping you helping to answer any questions you might have or any struggles you might be having with the lessons or with playing claw hammer banjo in general. So don't be shy. Send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and hopefully with some helpful information. The other thing you can do is check out my online course 30 Days to Better Banjo and that's offered right here at playbetterbanjo.com. You can find a link with all the information about that course and some other online offerings I have at the bottom of this page here underneath the notes on this lesson.